We're back. Um, for those of you who missed it, which I think is probably uh, most of you, uh, the channel got deleted about a month ago. This channel, the channel I'm uploading this video to. Um, I had created a sort of short, like, vlog-style video about... It was kind of, kind of like a, a lost media thing. It was about a, a piece of art that I'd been looking for for a very long time, which I had found, you know, all by myself, which I was very proud of. And I thought it'd be interesting to create kind of just a quick video about that. Um, in that video, I included images, not links, not, you know, not URLs. I was very careful not to include any way that someone could access these websites, but I included images of a website um, where you can buy stuff you're not allowed to buy, if you know what I mean. I'm being careful. Um, I'm being very, very careful at the minute. Um, I think those images got flagged by YouTube's automatic kind of content detection system and the entire channel got deleted because, and the, the explanation I received was that you're not allowed to try and sell Again, being careful, you're not allowed to try and sell illegal stuff on YouTube, um, which I wasn't. Um, and I, I, I wrote to YouTube and I was like, hey, I wasn't, this, this video wasn't me trying to sell, you know what, this was me recounting, you know, a kind of journey I went on, which led to me finding, um, yeah, this, 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 this piece of artwork that I've been looking for for a very, very long time. Um, and they, they were like, nah, you, they, you know. The, the the ban hold. So I contacted YouTube support over Twitter, and I was like, hey, that this is clearly, you know, can I talk to a person about this? Because this is clearly just the automated content system telling me, yeah, we've, you know, with the AI has detected something in a lot of putting videos, and it's inferred that you're trying to, you know, you're trying to deal you know what. So we're going to, uh, we're going to keep you banned. And I, that took about a week. That was a pain in the ass. I, and eventually they messaged me back and they were like, what they said was, uh, we've confirmed that our decision to terminate you was correct, which was very frustrating. And I didn't receive any further, uh, any further update. And I followed up asking them, okay, what, what am I being banned for? Because I'm not being banned for the thing you said I was being banned for because I wasn't doing that. Um, and received no reply. And I'd pretty much had given up on it, but I, I just woke up like a couple of days ago at like 6 a.m. Um, just thinking about it and feeling really bad about it because I really love this YouTube channel. I really love all the stuff I've made on here. And um, even if I was never going to make anything ever again, which, you know, I do plan to, especially now that I, now that I can, you know, because the channel's back. Um, you know, I, I, I think even like, like 50 years from now, like in my old age, I could see myself being like, you know, what was I up to in my twenties and having that kind of tangible, um, record of that stuff is really important to me and valuable to me. Um, and so I'm thrilled that I, I got it back, but basically, yeah. So I woke up early in the morning and I was like sore about it. And I was like, I basically was coming to terms with the fact that I was never getting the channel back. But I thought, nonetheless, I, I will send YouTube another dispute. Um, cause you, they say not to send more than one, but once it's been a couple of weeks, you can, um, and, and they, they, you know, they receive it. They don't automatically reject it, which they did with my, my actual second dispute was I sent like the day my dispute got rejected. So this was my third one. Um, and in it, I said I had created the video for educational purposes, which seems to be kind of like a cheat code. That's like a password in situations like this. Um, and a couple of days later, I checked my emails and I saw my channel was back. The video I had uploaded was gone. The, you know, the, the, the lost media type, video that I had uploaded that had gotten flagged by the, the, the content detection and got me banned. That had been deleted, which is interesting to me. And I thought of a couple of possibilities. I thought maybe um, the guy I was talking to via Twitter trying to get the channel back had done that and then not, you know, restored the channel for whatever reason. But what I actually think it was is... Um, I think if someone uploads something illegal to YouTube, they can't 
keep like a video record of it um because if it was say something like um you know some some sort of highly illegal video content you know some sort of you know yeah I, I again being very careful don't want to say it but you know like some sort of like exploitative material um you know they wouldn't be legally they wouldn't be allowed to keep that in their system like they couldn't even have like a, a kind of video record of that they would have to completely expunge that and so i think perhaps when it's a, a video of something illegal the you know the video itself has to be eradicated entirely but the channel clearly you can't completely eradicate that in case it's you know in case it's a false flag and you need to restore the channel which they did um and so yeah what i think happened was that video of course completely expunged um as you know as would be legally required if it was something illegal which it wasn't but if it was you know policy um and then so whoever looked at the you know the the third appeal that i sent the one i sent a couple of days ago they would have um seen the channel minus that video and been like oh you know this channel's clean there's clearly nothing you know there's clearly nothing illegal on this channel um no reason to keep it banned which is interesting i did receive a warning i didn't i don't have a strike there's no strikes but i did get a little message saying hey you got a warning you know since this is your first infraction, which is weird, because it was my first infraction, and initially that led to the whole channel getting deleted. But yeah, what I think happened was that someone, some you know, some person working for YouTube reviewed the channel, saw there was nothing illegal, nothing warranting um, termination on there, and they were like, okay, we'll put the channel back. We'll send him a warning, I guess, because um, I guess they did something wrong. But, you know, clearly, because there's nothing, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing there were there were no like rule infractions in any of my other videos and so it's like um yeah anyway, yeah that's just my theory just yeah just, just kind of letting everybody know if you, if you noticed the channel was gone uh now it's back and now you know why